What's going on everyone, Dustups Gaming here, welcome back to the channel. Today's a pretty special day because of something that just arrived on the doorstep, I believe it's here now. And if so, that imprompts a road trip very soon. So let's go see what it is. All right, let's see if it's here. All right, so pretty excited here about what just arrived in this box. Let's open it. Guys, so as I said, we're going on a bit of an adventure today. Try to pay attention to the road here. Uh, prompting that motherboard we got in that you guys just saw me unbox. We're going on a little adventure after I get off work today to pick up a new processor. I haven't picked up a 12th gen Intel processor yet, so I figured if not, we try Best Buy today because I haven't shopped there in a while. Usually, only get like you know TVs and stuff from them. But I figured I'd go by and see what they had in stock when it came to CPUs. Um, might be looking at something like a 12600K, and then from there we'll go on maybe what case we decide to put in it. I already have another F SFX power supply on the way, so we'll definitely check that out when it comes in. All right, so now we're about to be on our way to Best Buy. I just got off work, and my face is looking really red. It's a cool 97 degrees in Lower Alabama right now, so that's why. I look like I'm just about dying. Just got in and sat down. The AC is not helping much yet, but uh, let's go and get on the way. And I'll give you guys an update when we get the best one. All right, guys. So we've made it to the uh, Best Buy here. Uh, after a bit of traffic and the AC trying to keep up with not making me look like I'm beat red. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I'm allowed to record in here. Uh, like I said, I think I've tried to shoot in the past and they wouldn't let me. I may try to get some audio, look around, ask some questions, but mainly just going in to check out the CPU to see if the 2600K is in stock. And I'll let you guys know what I get when I come back out. All right, so we'll sneak a bit since there's not a lot of people over here, but just kind of checking out some selection. Got some headsets, uh, gunner glasses. Apparently those are still a thing keyboards, mice over here, more headsets. They do have some uh, kind of parts here. We have like mill coolers. Uh, let's see the Capellix here, Corsair. Uh, some IQ, looks like Nanoleaf style stuff. I didn't even know Corsair made those. More AOs, a few power supplies down bottom. Some, a little bit of Corsair thermal paste. See what do we got down here? It looks like more keyboards, mice, mics, some backup UPSs. That's cool. Yeah, it's still on the hunt for where the processors are. Looks like a lot of it's either been picked through or they don't just maybe stock as often. Plenty of Corsair stuff. I don't know if Corsair has anything with Best Buy. I'm mainly seeing Corsair. There's some NZXT stuff here too. Like I said, you can tell I don't shop DIY for uh, computer parts at Best Buy often. See, we have a tiny selection of cases over here. We got some H510s, a bunch of NZXT stuff. There's some IQ stuff here. Got some Corsair 4000D. That's the Airflow version. Looks like they have a tempered glass version too. That's neat. Some mag. Oh, it's MSI, gotcha. The case selection there. Found the streamer gamer section here. We got some back Elgato stuff. Key lights, cam links, Wave 3s, Wave 1s, 4K60 Pro capture. Might have to ask to see where those are. Well, I found them. Looks to be pretty slim pickings. We got 5800Xs, uh, some RAM. We got a 11700K and a 10400. Bunch of nothing over here. I get, looks like this was drives. And we got some motherboards here Z690 X570. So I guess I'm going to ask to see if they have the other ones or that 12600 that I saw online. Let's double check. All right, guys, Best Buy has failed me. Uh, they have the 12700 and the 12900 like KS of all ones in stock, but not the 12600. So I guess we'll order online or make them back, depending on how long it'll take them to get it in. Um, this was a, it was a fun adventure to see what all they had, and I never really taken the time to look in Best Buy. But let's get back, open that motherboard, we'll finish this little field trip. I'm going to take a look at it. In worst case, I'll get one ordered, and then uh, we'll move on with the overview of the board.
All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed. Very exciting here. This is our first motherboard sponsorship for the channel. Again, big thanks to you guys for supporting us for so long uh, to let us do stuff like this. This one's sent in from Biostar. We're gonna be taking a look at one of their Intel boards today. Let's get it open. All right, after a bit of ripping and tearing there, we got it out of the box. This is the Biostar B660 GTN. This is from the Racing Series. This one is a DDR4 Intel 12th Gen board. Uh, if you guys want to stick around for the field trip, uh, we have a field trip coming up at Best Buy. It'll be in this video. Uh, we'll see if we can find a processor for this guy. I actually don't have a 12th Gen part on hand just yet, so we're going to either order one or go find one. I haven't been into Best Buy in a while, so you guys can see that today. Uh, but let's go ahead and unbox this guy, take a look at what comes inside, and do a quick overview of the motherboard. All right, guys, so diving right into it, we do have the ITX motherboard here. And so we'll go ahead and pull out all of its extra stuff first. We have a couple of SATA cables here, as well as uh, this little guy. And we'll see this once we actually get into unboxing the motherboard itself here in the, after we get it out of the sheath. Uh, this one is Wi-Fi compatible. It has the holes for it and antennas, but actually doesn't come with uh, a card on the board. So it's a way to kind of save costs. This isn't a crazy expensive board. I'll list the price right here. Uh, but basically with these, you have the sheathing and the antennas here for connecting a Wi-Fi card later on if you choose to do so. Now, of course, it still has Ethernet, and we'll go over all the ports on the side here in a bit. We'll get some close-up shots as well. Uh, but I thought this was neat to include this where you can add it on later. Let's go ahead and pull the board out of its cover here. Let's see if anything else is in the box. Looks like under here we just have a coaster. No, it's a, the setup CD. That's a, these haven't, uh, I wish more manufactured would send just the USB drives. A lot have kind of swapped doing that. This is a slightly cheaper board though, so that would up the cost a little bit, I guess, but uh, you could use it as a Frisbee or coaster. And of course we get the installation guide and it even comes with a cool little guide for the Wi-Fi antenna pack here. So if you, uh, if you need instructions on how to install the add-on Wi-Fi card to run on the outside of the board, it'll give you instructions on how to do so. All right, let's move all that out of the way. We'll get some close-up shots of the motherboard itself, go over the features, the ports, uh, you know, everything you have on the board, and then we'll dive into what we're thinking about doing for building this guy. Let's dive into it. Let's dive into the specs here, starting with the right side of the board here. First, we have the front panel connectors sitting right there, right next to a USB 3 header. And then coming on around, we have four SATA connections there for your regular SATA drives. We have the 24 pin power cable there as well. On the top side, of course, we have our dual RAM slots. On the side right here, we actually do have some debug LEDs, uh, just a standard boot VGA RAM and CPU for some debugging in case you need to troubleshoot anything. Uh, right here, we have two fan headers, a CPU and a CPU op fan header. And if we look right to the next of those, we have three pin ARGB header as well as the four pin 12 volt RGB header. And then coming at the top of the board here to finish it out, the 12 volt EPS for the CPU. Of course, down bottom here, we do have some things tucked in. Of course, we have another fan header here. Uh, this looks like a the HD audio uh, connector here as well. And then we do have the kind of wireless card here tucked over into the corners. That actually is the slot there for that. So here we do have a slot for an M.2 drive. And then on the, of course, front, our normal buy 16 slot as well as the clear CMOS button here. We have a peel here to do along the back and the top. So let's go ahead and take care of that. That one not as good as the first. Along the back here, we do have a display port, an HDMI port, if you were using a CPU that had some internal graphics. Uh, there's still a PS2 port here for some reason, I guess if you want to go really old school. We have two USB 2s, we have four USB 3 headers here. We have a two and a half gig ethernet, which is pretty interesting considering this is a pretty budget focused board. Uh, pretty standard run the mill uh, plugs here for your audio in and out. And then those are those cutouts I was talking about earlier for the Wi-Fi. So basically this is set up to where you could screw those in and there you do have covers here so you do have to punch those out uh, that are that will cover it up if you don't plan on using that and you just stick on using the two and a half gig ethernet but like i said those are, are punched out there for they're punched out there for those included antenna ports and the cover sleeve for a wi-fi adapter if you choose to add it 
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing and overview. We have a build coming up, plan with this guy. What I need your guys' help with is actually what case we're gonna install this in. I already have every other part on the way. We have you know, the RAM already, storage. Uh, we have the processor on order, because uh, unfortunately the Best Buy trip wasn't successful, but I uh, had, had to jump through new egg. But anyway, like I so said, that is on order, power supply and everything on the way. So I need help from you guys. Uh, so we'll be doing some polls on over on the Instagram over at Desktops Gaming. I need to know what case you guys would like to see this in. This is an ITX build. We're going to do a kind of middle of the road Intel 12th gen ITX system since this will be my first kind of dive into Intel 12th gen, even though the 12600K is a little overkill. We're, I'm going to kind of look at it as if it were a 12600 or even uh, I may even do a parts list for say a 12400K or 12400 9K CPU for the Intel 12th gen because I want to kind of build this around around $1,200 or so, kind of that mid-range system, what I consider mid-range system build. Um, like I said, I need your guys' help on determining what case we're going to go with. I have so many ITX cases we've used in the past, kind of want to build something new. Uh, like I said, this might, I might even end up test driving this little guy to see if I can replace my full fat system over here. So obviously it's going to be hard to find uh, ITX systems that'll fit a 3080 comfortably, but I want to see what we can figure out. I might end up going with that uh, 3060 in it if we stick with the kind of budget build system and I may come back and update the system later and just try to make it as crazy as possible uh, with what the parts we have included here. Now, obviously this is non, it's a non overclocking motherboard as far as CPU goes. We can't overclock the RAM though, so we'll be playing around with that as well. Uh, but like I said, I'm interested to see, you know, once we get into testing, today's more of an overview video, but like I said, definitely want to get into testing once we pick a case to put it in where we can show off all the nice new parts and everything. And like I said, I need your guys' help with that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the overview. Like I said, feel free to check out uh, this video here if you think you should build a PC right now. Like I said, spoiler alert, I think you should a little bit. Uh, like I said, we do have some new parts coming soon, but yeah, click on this video right now if you want to go see my thoughts on what's coming up the, the end of, towards the end of this year and whether or not you should build right now. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Take it easy.